What's up guys, Team Survival here. Um, today I have for you a Dino Thunder deck profile featuring dangers. Um, I didn't feel good about where this deck was after the last ban list for a long time. Um, but I finally have what I believe to be the perfect list for it. And I'm excited to share it for you and possible um, alterations you can go for a more budget version. Or just if you want to go more on a Phantom Sky Laster token version. So I split the deck up by each engine to help explain it a little bit better. So three over Raptor, one Rex, two Conductor, one Overtex. I was playing two Overtex before, um, as well as three Double Evolution Pill, three Dig. Um, we're playing three pills, so you don't need two Qualys, because you're going to see one way to get to this card no matter what, or you'll draw into it um, with your job power cards. So like, there, should, there should never be a duel where you can't get double double evolution pill by either dumping the one Qualys or hard drawing it or um, uh, so you're using into it, etc. Like, there's so many ways to get to this card that like you just you don't need to worry about it. Um, and playing two of this, you saw it too much. And if you do draw the one, there's still plenty of ways to get rid of it in your hand. You're playing the dangers, like you can pop it with the conductor. There's a plethora of ways to remove this card from your hand, so it's not a huge deal only playing the one. It's it's what it is. Um, two conductors is the way to go, and then Rex is your best extender. Um, a lot of times you'll search this from a dig, because you're already going to have a pill in hand, and then you're going to um, end up with a uh, conductor, Dolka, um, Colossus and a Wee Witch, some like iteration of that, and like that's super strong because Doka's two negates of one card. <clears throat> so that's a dinosaur engine. Um, I wouldn't change anything about it. And then these two cards can bridge in a dinosaur, the dinosaur engine, as well as your Thunder Dragon engine. You see a lot of people playing two Hawk, but you don't need to. And I'm actually not playing Thunder Dragon Fusion or Titan anymore. I removed them because in this version, um, you don't go them very often. It's very rare. Um, maybe for the mirror, you could decide to side it just because Titan's so good in the mirror. But to do what you want to do in setting up negations along with your Colossus and Conductor, like setting up two Colossus Conductor isn't good enough anymore. You need to set up a Dolga Colossus and Conductor. Um, everyone can just remove classes way too easy, but Dolga puts a ton of pressure on them, and it's really hard for anyone to play through that. So, these are very standard. Um, I don't want to see more than I don't want to draw into Hawk. I can just recycle these once I've gone through the regular combo. Any way, if I open um, any of these cards, um, I'm going to get rid of them with Pill, etc. Like, there's so many ways to um, burn through this engine. And I don't need to recycle it from the because like at that point where the game state's at, um, it's it's gonna be over. To go with those, it's three allure as well, um, and this also works well with your dangers. So I'm actually only playing two Suchinoko, two Jackalope, and one Nessie. I have uh, more dangers. I have more snakes, um, but. I'm actually only going to play this at 6, because I'm not focusing purely on the Sky Blaster and creating the tokens. Um, there's so many great engines in this deck that I don't need more dangers. Um, I wanted to think I wanted to go this route where I was playing 3-3-3, three, three, and, three, and 3 Sky Blaster, and like well, this crazy idea where I played Double Summon. But I decided that uh, I'd rather play a very consistent um, Nut Glass cannon version of the deck and these dangers really fill out all the weaknesses of the deck and they really fix it based off of this bat last ban list where we lost friendly fusion there's so many no one's really playing this version because there's no no clear cut way on where to, like how to go with the deck um except i think this is i see some people trying to mix in orcas and i think that's great and all but I don't think it's actually going to work because there's so many other decks that can really do what they're doing but better. So I'd rather focus more on what this deck's about than putting in these cards that kind of work but sometimes won't be able to work depending on what you draw. 
along with the dangers so you know two sky blaster and I'm playing dark Reffer, armageddon knight and destrudo so you can cut any of these for a third sky blaster if you really like that and if you want to up the dangers as well so you could like cut uh, all three of these at two more dangers like a sky blaster or any version you want but I find Dark Ruffer to be too good with the dangers not to play, as well as like he can be extended because everything's dark and you just, if you send a Thunder into the graveyard from your hand, you shouldn't be able to bash it with Pill, it doesn't matter if it's in your hand or the graveyard. So this card's really good, um, Armageddon Knight's just another Overaptor, and like it's just, these cards are just so good still in my opinion that I'd rather play them over a third Sky Blaster. Um, and then Destrudo, so like... This deck before, without all, like, dangers and stuff, like, you didn't need Destrudo, and, like, it, you couldn't really make that crazy board, you didn't really know what to, to go into, and there wasn't enough extenders in the deck, but with these danger cards, there definitely are now, and you can get into, like, a uh, Wee Witch with a Quantum Dragon or a Dawn Dragster, and then you can have your Colossus and Conductor. And so going second, Quantum Dragon Conductor is like, what, are you, what the fuck are they going to do when you attack into them with a bounce and a, a board wipe? Like, there's, there's just too much pressure there. And then if you're going first, being able to set up a spell uh, negation is really good at, at top with a co Colossus and Conductor and a Wee Witch. Like, it's it's very strong. Um, and you, you don't have to go Wee Witch if you don't lose the attack points on him. You can just go uh, Reproductus. But I just felt like these cards were too good not to play, and these engines are all extremely consistent, and this deck just says, go. Everything in here is combo-oriented, and everything works perfectly with each other. If you draw into your uh, Devil Evolution pills and you have dangers in your hand, and you have, like, uh, Fossil Days and Lord Darkness, don't just activate it. Set those. All of these cards you can set and then reactivate, because they're spell speed ones, and they're at quick plays. So you set them, you trigger off your dangers, you're either going to get a body on board, or you're going to get a plus... We're going to draw and get a body on board. No matter what, it's going to work out in your favor. Because none of these cards are, are not activatable when you set them. And the last, we're playing the strongest hand traps in the game. Three Ash Blossom, two Impermanence. Um, another really crazy route you could go with this deck if you wanted to play um, the new hand trap. The, God, the dragon, I cannot remember his name. He can really fix a lot of hands because he's a Saryuja, and I would side him. Uh, I don't have any, but you could also get away with maining him. And like this deck, you don't need to fix any, but if you're playing a more of a glass candy or more um, a crazier build, a little more out there, then that card could be really good for your um, version, like an Orcist version. Um, so it would be Danger, Orcus, PK, Dino Thunder, which is just too much going on in my opinion. But it's for some people. So then we're playing the Link Spider for just so you know, so you use it easily um, from your Sky Blaster. The Wee Witch, I like this card a lot. You pop it with Conductor and then you can recycle an Overaptor or a Roar from your graveyard. Um, Reproducus, this. Uh, just sometimes you need that flexibility to get another dinosaur into the grave, but also he helps you make a Summon Sork. But you really don't even need Summon Sork in this deck. And if you want to play a Tornado Dragon instead, you could. But sometimes, like, there's one instance where you can go Conductor, Overtex, Double Colossus, and Summon Sword. Or you can give that up and just make a Unicorn and have a Colossus with a Conductor and a Overtex if you wanted to fill in the extra deck spot of what we, uh, what Summon Sword does. Um, but I felt like that, that plays a little bit too strong to have two Colossus along with those, so I decided to keep the Summon Sword in and cut the Tornado Dragon. These are your um, pointing down, basically, um, low-level links. You do with your Cerberus, your Phoenix, and your Unicorn. Um, a lot of people don't play this anymore, and people are not expecting it. And then all of a sudden, you have a Cerberus, and you're popping their monster, and they're like, "Wait, what's going on?" And then you link up in a Unicorn, and you remo remove another card because don't forget, you're drawing off of your dangers, so you're gonna have uh, you're gonna have cards to discard. Um, a lot of people have cut Cerberus, and I think it's actually a really good card and doesn't shouldn't be cut. And then your one summon sword, your Saryuja, and then your Boral Sword Dragon. Uh, I mean honestly you really need to have Boral Sword. If you guys are like on the fence about picking up that card, you have to if you haven't picked it up by now. It's just like it wins games. 
it's too good not to play. It's worth the investment. It's like going to hold its value, just like Soyuzhas did and original Borload, even after the tins. And trust me, you're not getting reaping a Borload for a while. Um, and then two Colossus, no Titan, don't need a third Colossus. These are all you need for this version of the deck. Then I'm playing Quantum and Dawn Dragster. So this card's just too fucking good not to play. Um, basically, if you put it on the board first turn, they can't target your shit besides him. And if you're going second, putting him on the board with Conductor's game, it's just way too much pressure. And then if you're in specific matchups, you just go Dawn Dragster, and it it just it stops spells. Like, it's too good. Um, and then Adolk and Alagia. So, like, if you're playing against, like, um, let's say any combo or into deck, you're going to go Dolka. If you're playing against something like um, maybe Alteration, you might go Lagia. Something where you, you need to negate a specific card, you probably want to go Lagia. If you don't want to play Lagia, you can play um, Tornado Dragon just if you want that plush pressure because if you are afraid of seeing Altergeist. Um, but you can play any generic rank force. I just think that the, the, they're... These two are just too good not to play, and they go hand in hand with the deck. Lastly, I have the side deck for you. I don't have any summon limits, but I think I would like to play that card. Um, but you have to have three Book of Eclipse, and this is something that I didn't have at YCS Chicago. It was a big mistake of mine, was not picking this card up for it, because... Basically, when they go, when they're playing Danger uh, Thunder Dragon, and they make their board, or you're playing any um, Guard Dragon um, variant, that's, it would be whether it be Thunder Dragons or Crusadias, um, you just Book of Eclipse or Field, and then Colossus isn't face up anymore, so you just fucking summon a Conductor, and you, you do all your plays, and then you just remove all the cards. Um, this card's too good not to play, and it was stupid not to play before. I wish I had it at um, the regional where I got 69th here in Chicago because I feel like I could have topped if I didn't. Six and three was one win away from being seven and two. Um, and then three evenly. Three Danko Saka because it's too fucking good. Um, so good. Like that card, I, I will continue to play at three. And then I'm playing three Troll. Just kind of want the flexibility of hand traps. This might be my summon limit. I'm not sure yet. Uh, I haven't decided what I want to cut for it. I'm also playing three sphere mode. I don't think I need three draw, three sphere mode, and three draw. I'm sorry, three evenly. So I'm going to analyze the meta again um, before my next event and decide what I want to cut. But sphere mode is just so good at removing those ridiculous boards. And having that evenly and uh, Book of Eclipse might be a little bit of an overkill. But like you're going to see one of them, so you're probably going to win the match. Um, and even <laughs> draw it also stops most of the combos, so it's it's tough pick. Um, I'm not playing uh, what's it called Red Reboot anymore. Um, I just don't think the card needs to be played. You have three Dango, you have three Evenly, like you don't really need it anymore. Um, but yeah, that's the deck profile. Uh, I truly believe this is the best way to play the deck. Um, through testing, it's just it runs perfectly. It's it's a it's a real beast. Um, I'll actually play a hand for you guys right now. I wasn't planning on it, but it's just I just I have to show you how good this is. And there's a lot of like flexibility that you can go with your hands. You can uh, play through a good amount of hand traps if they do ash the. Uh, Pill, it does hurt, but the great thing about pill is it's for cost, so you're still going to get the other effects, but you're just not going to get the conductor, which is still really good. So even like your most vulnerable card is really good. It's it's still going to get you off um, some effects. And I'm not playing um, Call by the Grave. I just think the card's inconsistent, and I'm not, I'm not going to do it. So Dark Raffer, Fossil Dig, Overaptor. Your Aurora and a Jackalope. So, to start off, we'll dig and we're going to go into a Rex.
Then you're going to summon your raptor, send your overtax, get a pill, activate, banish your rex, banish your roar, make your roar chain link 1 and your rex chain link 2, summon your conductor, summon your rex, and your dark for more. Then you can go ahead, discard Jackalope to special your dark graffer, Jackalope effect. Actually, no, you don't wanna do that. Just kidding. Uh, what you'll do before you do that is just activate Jackalope. So we try to die. One, two, three, four, five, six. Four, five, six. Hits the graffer. Special the jackalope. Draw a card. Do the pill. Then you're going to go ahead, turn these two into a Wee Witch. You're going to get the effect of Dark to get yourself Hawk. You'll go ahead and make your Logia or your Dolka. In this instance, I'm going to pick Dolka. And then you're going to activate your Hawk, special out your Roar, send Roar to make your Colossus. And you end with a Dolka, Colossus, Wee Witch Apprentice, Conductor, and an extra Conductor. So that's how the deck works. I um, hope you guys enjoy this deck profile and test hand. Just to show you how explosive and the utility of this deck. It's pretty nutty. Um, peace.